Hello dear friends, today I'll be talking about virology mnemonics in the microbiology section. Virology as you know is a difficult topic to comprehend. There are two types of viruses, the DNA viruses and the RNA viruses. And the DNA viruses are studied in detail during our undergraduate days. You do know about herpes virus, adenovirus, papilloma virus, etc. In I would not say great detail but adequate enough to answer questions which are thrown at us during our NEET, DNB, PGI, AIMS, MCI screening test, you name the exam, there will be questions on virology because it is confusing. The RNA viruses primarily are confusing as such. If you don't, if you don't remember it with some mnemonics or some memory aid techniques or uh, if you can revise it three or four times, uh, that will be good. Uh, it will help you avoid confusion during the exam. So let us start with the first mnemonic. It's a very simple mnemonic. It, here it says Picorna viridae family. These are RNA viruses. In the Picorna viridae family, the mnemonic is PERCH, P-E-R-C-H. P stands for poliovirus, E stands for echovirus and enterovirus and R stands for rhinovirus. Do not confuse this with rheovirus during the exam. Rhinovirus, the one which causes common cold. And then you have Coxsackie virus C, Coxsackie virus A and B. And then uh, H stands for hepatitis A. So going again over the mnemonic, P-E-R-C-H, P stands for poliovirus. You know that there are three types. There are three zero types, P1, P2 and P3. P3 is associated with vaccine associated paralytic polio. These are important MCQs which have often been repeated. The one which is uh, associated with the normal paralysis in polio is P1. And then you have your echovirus and enterovirus. And then you have uh, enterovirus is an important cause in uh, acute hemorrhagic conjunctivitis. You can uh, enterovirus 70. That's the number you have to remember. And enterovirus 72 is the old name of hepatitis A and then you have echovirus and then for R stands for rhinovirus, C stands for Coxsackie virus, Coxsackie virus has A and B and it causes hand foot mouth disease and also it causes pericarditis the two important things to remember hepatitis A as you know is uh, belongs to Picorna VDTA the other important thing I'd like to tell you is to integrate this mnemonic with another mnemonic because you now know that hepatitis A belongs to Picorna VDDA you should know uh, which hepatitis virus belongs to which family because that's a question often asked in microbiology sections in different exams so going over that along with another mnemonic uh, here you see the mnemonic physically handicapped friend danced happily this is a mnemonic uh, I picked up in the internet and I wrote it here these other mnemonics I have taken from rxpgonline.com. It's a very cool website. You can visit uh, this website and get information about pretty much every college in India and pretty much how to prepare. And uh, every year there are lots of students uh, pouring in questions and everything. So it's a pretty cool website. Uh, here you see hepatitis A to E is written. And the mnemonic is physically handicapped friends danced happily. P stands for Picorna VDDA as you already know. Hepatitis B belongs to Hepatna VDDA and it is the only DNA virus among all the hepatitis viruses. Hepatitis C belongs to Flavi VDDA. Hepatitis D belongs to Delta VDDA. Hepatitis E belongs to Hepi virus. But in most of the MCQs you are going to find Calci virus. Calci virus, it belongs to Calci VDDA. Some people argue it belongs to Hepi VDDA. So hence a mnemonic. You can change the mnemonic to something with a C and uh, you can uh, fit it but I think you would be able to remember it easily. Uh, I would like to ask you one question now. What does hepatitis G, which family does it belong to? Which family that does hepatitis G belong to? If you are saying Flavi Viridae, very good. It belongs to the Flavi Viridae family as well. Okay, now going to the other mnemonic on top. Uh, the viruses with a segmented RNA genome. It's a RNA genome, it's not written there. But uh, as you know, uh, they have a segment, they have segments of uh, their genome is segmented. And I would like to remember this mnemonic in a different way. 
for example, you, you, the common mnemonics used for this are BORA, B-O-R-A, uh, B stands for Bunya Viridae, O for Ortho Mixo Viridae, R for Rio Viridae, A for Arena Viridae, you can change it, you can use it as Arbo, you can use it as, uh, the way I use it right now, A, B, O, R, the reason it being, you can remember the number of segments along with it, they have 2, 3, 8, and 11, so you see, Arena VDDA, the typical example is LASA virus, L-A-S-S-A -S -S -A virus. It has two segments and then you have uh, Bunya VDDA which has three segments. Then you have Orthomixo VDDA, the typical example is Influenza virus, it has eight segments. And the Rio VDDA, uh, the typical example is Rota virus, it has 11 segments. Some books argue 10 segments. You can pick your choice and this is the easiest way to remember it. So I, I trust now you, you can remember the viruses with the segmented genome. It is because of this reason, as you can see, that uh, the influenza virus has a segmented genome and it can produce different types of antigens depending on which segment gets translated. So uh, it produces two important antigens. It's called hemagglutinin and uh, neuraminidase. And depending on which segment has produced it, then you can have it as H1. N1 or H5N1 and various combinations and it can cause infections in different in a cyclical trend uh, because uh, as you can see like uh, it, it can cause infections repeatedly because the antigens are different every time and it can pick up antigens from different strains there are different strains of the influenza virus for example there are strains which are from the birds which are known as the avian and then there are it can also affect the pigs and uh, the pig is actually the mixing bowl between the human strains and the avian strains you'll learn more about this in detail but uh, it's better to know uh, mnemonics like this and uh, rule out options okay uh, now going to the next mnemonic Uh, this mnemonic I, I want to tell you how to integrate different mnemonics into one and learn virology as a whole Okay, this this PDF I picked up in the internet and I have uploaded it in my website You can download it from www.clearmci.blogspot.in I'll just show you where it is This link right here is the PDF file which we are going to discuss right now and uh, as you can see I'll explain the diagram to you you can read further from the PDF yourself the author of this mnemonic has uh, depicted this structure this is supposed to be an icosahedron uh, the viruses have different symmetries there are two basic symmetries the icosahedral symmetry and the helical symmetry Th they ask you questions on which viruses have icosahedral symmetry and so it, it becomes important to remember these and the next thing in the diagram that you should remember is he marked it positive here so these are all positive sense RNA like for example all these are RNA viruses in RNA viruses there can be a positive sense and a negative sense by positive sense I mean the RNA is directly infective which means that as soon as these RNA viruses enter the cytoplasm of a different cell it's a sense strand by which it can translate and produce infectious particles as soon as it enters it doesn't need to pro it doesn't need any any other help whereas a negative sense strands have to first convert themselves to a positive stra sense strands with the help of the host machinery and then they start infecting the cells and then you have learned about the segmented genomes and so first we start uh, with these viruses have icosahedral symmetry they are positive sense viruses and then this division right here demarcates uh, the naked viruses which means they don't have any envelope surrounding them he has marked this naked with a leaf I don't know why you can stretch your imagination but uh, and the enveloped viruses by envelope here so first going on to a generalization all RNA viruses are enveloped except for P, C and R P stands for Picornaviridae, 
C stands for Calciviridae and R stands for Rioviridae. The Coronaviridae, now you can remember the mnemonic perch and you can recall all the viruses in them polio, entero, echo virus, rhino virus, coxsackie virus, and hepatitis A virus. And calci virus, you have your Norwalk virus and hepatitis E virus. And rio virus, the typical example is rota virus. The author of, of this diagram has depicted that the, there is a character called Pico and he is riding a rhino. So that's a rhino virus and this is a Picotna viridae, the rhino virus. And then he is having, a, uh, he's carrying some sacks. So uh, that's Coxsackie virus and he's having booze. So that's a uh, oral transmission of two viruses, hepatitis A and enterovirus. Uh, he has depicted it like that. You can, you are uh, however free to uh, make your own imaginations and remember the things. You can as well use the mnemonic perch. And this hero, Pico, is going to uh, California, wants to go to California. So that's Calci, Calci VTDA. And he goes there and he goes to Norwalk which is another beautiful place and then he turns east so that's uh, hepatitis E and then he wants to go to uh, the place here and uh, so you can remember this P C N R, and you can make up the remaining uh, names if you know the basics so these three are non enveloped viruses so they are not affected by they are not they are not they are not affected by solvents which dissolve lipids like ether and alcohol and uh, going on to the next ones so uh, the next three viruses are icosahedral symmetrical virus have icosahedral symmetry they are positive sense viruses but they are enveloped virus the, tip uh, the typical examples are hiv htlv htlv stands for human t-cell lymphotropic virus then this is toga viridae he is written toga here and toga viridae the typical example is rubella virus this is a guy he's having a Toga, he's supposed to be the uh, antagonist for this hero. And Toga Viridae, he's carrying a flag which says Rubella. And you can remember Rubella causes PDA and it causes uh, it causes various other lesions like cataract and everything. And then you have your Flavi Viridae group. For Flavi Viridae, the author uh, has drawn a cheese which he says has yellow is yellow in color and is added in food for flavor. So he remembers flavor flavi viridae the cheese is yellow in color so he remembers yellow virus yellow fever and you, if you're living in india you have to know dengue virus all the serotypes one two three four belong to flavi viridae group and what else belongs to flavi viridae that we have already read if you're talking about hepatitis c and hepatitis g which we saw in this mnemonic right here hepatitis C flavi virus and hepatitis G also belongs to Fla flavi viridae group very good and now we can remember all these viruses now going on to the next symmetry helical symmetry in helical symmetry uh, it's, it's uh, described here as uh, there's a house it's called the helical house and everybody in the house are very decent people they don't run around naked so they have their enveloped envelopes around them and uh, the first thing that you need to remember is all the helical viruses are negative sense viruses except for coronavirus coronavirus is a positive sense virus which has a helical symmetry and now going on to the diagram further you can see here the house has a door and this door is bullet shaped and it's guarded by a ferocious dog here uh, it represents the bullet shaped symmetry of the rhabdo virus or the rabies virus which is typically associated with a dog dog bite and once you enter the house the second room you will find orthomyxoviridae i've already told you orthomyxoviridae the typical example is influenza virus here the author describes ortho starts with an o uh, it reminds of an octopus which has eight legs and so he says orthomyxoviridae has eight segments but you can also remember it with other mnemonic a b o r two three eight eleven and uh, here he says uh, that's a typical example which is which is in the second room of the house and then you go one step above and you find paramyxovirus paramyxovirus are uh, considered as a big brother of orthomyxovirus 
you see actually mixo means uh, mucoid or the respiratory tract as you can see both these viruses groups attack the respiratory system so the paramyxo virus the typical examples are measles mumps respiratory syncytial virus and para influenza virus there are two more but uh, these are the most medically important ones and uh, they are considered as a big brother because in this uh, as a mnemonic because all of them produce giant cells and then you go on to the next room and you find arena virus the typical example is lassa virus and it has two segments it goes in accordance with the mnemonic a b o r 2 3 8 11 and then you go to the next room you find bunya viridae and there are three as you can see the bunya refers to a bunny which has three ears which represents the three segments and it has a circular tail which indicates it is a circular RNA and then you have Ebola and Marburg virus which is also included here which has helical symmetry and is negative sense and it causes hemorrhagic fevers you can download this PDF from the website I just showed you there are just two more mnemonics and I will wind up as now you can see what are the causes of hemorrhagic conjunctivitis the mnemonic is PACE P is parvovirus it's a DNA virus smallest DNA virus it's a single stranded DNA virus A is adenovirus and in adenovirus you have two things actually epidemic character conjunctivitis and pharyngoconjunctival fever and you can remember it by different mnemonics but I will deal with it in ophthalmology section later C stands for Coxsackie virus and E stands for enterovirus you now know Coxsackie virus and enterovirus belong to the family Picorna viridae Coxsackie virus A and B also cause hand foot mouth disease and also pericarditis and enterovirus the typical example is enterovirus 70 which causes hemorrhagic conjunctivitis and the other enterovirus 72 is an old name of hepatitis A virus viral heme agglutination the mnemonic is ripe mango it's rio viridae now we can remember rio viridae is a icosahedral virus with a positive sense strand and it is a non-enveloped virus because now you remember the mnemonic pcr rio viridae and it can also cause hemagglutination and then you have influenza virus which belongs to orthomyxo viridae orthomyxo viridae you, you saw in the second diagram it was in the second room orthomyxo viridae was eight segmented negative sense RNA very good and then you have para influenza virus which belongs to para virus enterovirus and mumps enterovirus belongs to picorna viridae and mumps also belongs to para virus so you see for uh, ripe mango but now you can identify each of those viruses Thank you for attending this class. Please stay tuned for more classes.